Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 8744. So today guys we're doing our AFCON day 3 review of the game. So we have three games to go forward to. So we're going to start with the first game we got here is Senegal 3, Gambia 0. Senegal man, I was very impressed. I was impressed with them because coming into this AFCON, I wasn't really sold on Cam uh, sorry, Senegal to be honest with you guys. Um this was a doable group for them, so I was confident for them to top this group, but I didn't know how much to expect from Senegal because the last edition, we all know, they kind of scraped through just to the bare minimum. This time around, though, they actually managed to win this convincingly, you know. And for Gambia, as I said, man, boy, worries for them. It came through my preview. I said that this team is defensively terrible. I don't really trust this team defensively. And I was correct, man, because that first goal, man, Saudi Omani got the assist for Kamara. I'm sorry, Papa, uh, Papa Gay just scored the opening goal. And from that point on, man, Senegal just upped it up a bit, you know. And obviously when, um, when um, what is it called, Gambia got a straight right, I knew this game was over. I knew this game was over. There was no way Gambia could get a result being down at 10 men. And especially given how good Senegal are. Kamara scored a nice goal in the 52nd minute. And then um, East, assisted by Ishmael Sar. And then the third goal was scored and the 86th minute by Kamara, man. Shout out to Kamara, man. Kamara was fantastic on the day. Man of the match, of course, rightfully so. And for Gambia, man, I mean, the only real chances they had, I think, was the first half when Mendy had to make a good save, and Gambia almost got the rebound there. Um, other than that, though, Gambia just didn't really do enough for me going forward, and they just defensively were just shocking. They were just shocking defensively, and Senegal just had way too much class. And so Senegal wins the derby, of course, 3-0. And I think for Senegal, man, they're in a good, comfortable position to advance, you know. Um, and India comes off the bench, got the assist, and you can see right here how, how dominant they were in the day. And that goal in the 86 man, Kamara, that was a wonderful goal, 86 man. Great scream outside the box. Uh, great, great finish there. And yeah, man, really, really good routine win for Senegal. And for Gambia, as I said, man, it's going to be difficult for them in this group to qualify. Their best chances of qualifying is probably going to have to come down to them against either Cameron or Guinea. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be difficult for them and Senegal man I think they're in a great position to qualify and um, yeah, man just need one more win and they'll be through to round of 16 So moving on to the next game which we have here it is um The next game we got here. Let me just pull it up. Let me go. To, um, this will take a bit Let me uh, get this up. Okay, so next thing we're gonna start with as camera one guinea one uh, Guinea man uh, guinea they were good, man. I think Guinea was great the first half. I think Guinea, for me, they were great. Obviously, there was that foul on the buildup, and Cameroon obviously complaining about that goal. For me, that goal was the right decision. It should, it was good to see it. The goal counted, Bayou was scored, and Cameroon complained there was like fouls and buildup. It shouldn't have counted, and of course, they they weren't happy with the goal being given. And for me, um, Guinea were good the first half. I think first half Cameroon really struggled in this game, really struggled to get themselves in the game as you can see in the first half they didn't have a single shot on target guinea on the other hand were pressing cameroon cameroon having to struggle and guinea were just clinical guinea were making it really dominant and the um in the pressing you know and you could see how much better they were in the first half and then that for me the red card completely changed the game i think the red card for kamano just before halftime was a really really bad challenge and for me in some sense that actually kind of ruined uh Guinea's chances of, of obviously getting a result here. Cameroon in the second half were extremely offensive. Guinea were extremely defensive in the second half and were not great whatsoever. And a great cross in uh, from Magre. Magre scored the goal there. Kadudu got the assist there for the goal. And you could see how Cameroon were peppering the goal. Peppering, peppering, trying to create a chance, but they just couldn't get on the end of it. You could see they only had two shots on target. And they just couldn't do it, man. And I think you could see that they're really missing Vincent Abelcar. They're really missing Vincent Abelcar. He's such a big miss. And uh, obviously, there's no trouble Monting. Trouble Monting is also not available for them in this. I don't think he was selected for the AFCON, which is a big surprise. And then obviously, you have the decision with Onana not being, you know, apparently he adds like he couldn't be able to play this game. And so for Cameroon, man, this is a good result. But at the same time, this is also a bad result because this is a game they should have won given the fact they had a man advantage. And the fact that they they dominated this second half for Guinea man, they're gonna be they're gonna be happy with the point, considering that they were dominated in the second half and Guinea really didn't do much in the second half, and they managed to take a point. And this point could be very crucial for them. As for Cameroon man, they gotta win that that game against Gambia is gonna probably be the decisive game in this group because if Cameroon don't win that game, I think that's over because I don't see Cameroon beating Senegal. 
I don't think they can. So for Cameron Matt, they got to do better in the final third. I don't think Ikambi really worked as a striker. Um, I don't think he's really a good striker. I think he's more of a winger in that sense. And I don't know why they tried out Ikambi at striker. So, uh, Rugabert Song, man, you got to do better with your um, selection, with your lineup. Because for me, I just don't think um, he is good enough at striker. So, we'll see what Cameroon can do, man. And for Guinea, man, like I said, a very, very valuable point for them. And this point could mean a lot for Guinea. So, moving on to the next game we got here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to score the header there in the 51st minute. Moving on, we have the final game we got here is Algeria 1 and Angola 1. Angola, man, they're very difficult to break down. And I think Angola is a very defensive team. And the fact that Angola put out a performance like this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's start with Algeria first, man. Algeria, man, what a cross that was for opening goal. But Lali getting the, uh, making that beautiful cross for Bundeya. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. Scores on his first touch. What a goal that was. And remember, guys, he was one of the crucial reasons why they won the AFCON in 2019. Then he even scored a second goal, which was disallowed. I believe it was a bicycle kick. Unfortunately, I believe it was offside, which is the reason why he didn't count it. And Angola, man, they they were there, man. And Algeria kept missing chance after chance after chance. And then Angola, man, they got the penalty. That was definitely a penalty. Taken down inside the box, and they converted the penalty at the 68th minute. So, yeah, for, Al for Angola, man... This is good, man. This is good for them to get that penalty. And you can see how good they were uh, defensively. And the thing with um, Angola, I started to realize, is how difficult they are. They are so defensively well organized. And and I think for me, their attack is just not that clinical. And as for Algeria, one of my big concerns leading up to them for the AFCON was the fact that I just don't really trust that attack. I just didn't really trust their attack. And that's what I really was concerned Because I think their midfield is solid. I think their defense is solid. But it's just the attack is just not good enough. And for Algeria, man, their poor run of form continues in the Afcon because remember, guys, they got eliminated in the group stage in the last edition, so they definitely need to win the game. And I think the game that's going to determine it, basically if Algeria don't beat Mauritania, they're in big trouble because that Burkina Faso game could be interesting, and they have to basically beat Mauritania. That's going to be the big, big decisive game for me in this group. And if Algeria don't beat Mauritania, they're in big trouble because this Algeria team is good, man. This Algeria team is good. You have Wendia, you have Benasser, Mandi, Bensabini. Um, Mars as well. Um, I think Mars was actually really close to scoring the last minute of the game with that free kick. Obviously, it went wide. And for Angola, man, this is a huge point for them because remember, guys, Angola uh, can maybe become one of the best third place teams to qualify. So that's probably the best expectation hopes for them. So yeah, man, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this review. Um, let me know if there's any major talking points I missed in the comments below. And if there is any, please let me know. Of course, if you guys did enjoy, remember guys to like and subscribe. And yeah, I think I'll see you guys later, man. Remember guys to check out me in the platforms in the description below to get access to my um to all the platforms. And of course, click that join button to get access to members of these members streams. And yeah, man, I think I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.